Oh, it's Thanksgiving time in the United States of America. It's a national holiday. A holiday not owned just by the United States. There's many countries that have Thanksgiving holidays. But as we talk about Thanksgiving and the idea of actually focusing an entire day on giving thanks, giving thanks for life, giving thanks for every aspect of life, giving thanks for friends and family, gathering together, sharing a meal, uh, creating some fun. I wanted to share with you three traditions that we have in my family and just invite you to consider your traditions. Some traditions are inherited traditions. We do it just because that's how we've always done it. But then we can also have conscious traditions where we decide the kind of experience we want to create that maybe never happened in our family before. A kind of experience we want to have that really leads our children in how to have, our grandchildren in how to have a holiday that includes more perhaps than we were even raised in, but something to even consider to interjecting some new things in our holidays. So three traditions that we have in our household. Number one, we begin the day, Thanksgiving day, with a group activity for anyone who wants to play. And we call that activity, we go to a sports field nearby, early in the day, reserve a field, and we have a game of Turkey Bowl. <laughs> what is Turkey Bowl? It's a fun uh, experience of flag football, it's, it's very casual, kids of all ages, little kids and adults, we play turkey bowl together. And with an encouragement for everybody to get a play, everybody to have some moment and roll on the field. It was developed by my oldest son, John, when he was a teenager and he started getting a group of guys together. And in Oregon, they would come back all muddy and filthy. And I didn't engage in the game in those days, the kids did. And we'd get them home, hose them off and get ready for the rest of our Thanksgiving. But over the years, I decided, why am I staying off the field? Why am I staying off the field of my, my kids' fun? And so today, as they're adults and they have their kids, and I have my kids, my, all of us gather together, and we meet up at some field and we have a game of turkey bowl. We take coffee and begin our day that day, that way. Another tradition that we have is the kind of food that we have. So when you think into the food that you would have on a regular Thanksgiving, perhaps it is turkey or other kinds of parts of the meal, we do have turkey, but there's a couple of things that we always have at Thanksgiving. One of them is creamed corn. There's a particular recipe that my husband makes that my grandchildren absolutely love, and when they think that Thanksgiving is coming, they'll say, oh, it's only two weeks until the creamed corn. It's only five days till the creamed corn. And when they arrive for Thanksgiving, is we're gonna have creamed corn, right? I don't know what meal or what parts of your meal you make that your family looks forward to. It's something Thanksgiving just wouldn't be Thanksgiving if you didn't have that particular part of your meal. The other is something that I inherited from my, my mother-in-law, uh, from my kid's dad, who created this wonderful uh, cream cheese, green jello, and, and pear salad. It, you put it together, and over the years, it's something I kept with me over the many years, and something the kids and our, even our guests say, are we having that, that green? Jello salad. You know, jello isn't something I eat any other time of the year, but at Thanksgiving, we have green jello with cream cheese whipped into it and pears in it. What's in your Thanksgiving lexicon of meal that you either have now that's part of your Thanksgiving? There's, the thing about traditions is there's a feeling that carries over, that builds, it binds families together, binds friendships together. Over the years, Thanksgiving is the time we open the doors and other friends, perhaps friends who didn't have anywhere to go that Thanksgiving, or friendships that we've had for a long, long time and they might travel and come for Thanksgiving. And there's a tradition of gathering with people that you care about. Is that something you would love or something you currently do? The last tradition is this one. This one's very, very important to me personally. And that is the meal is all out, everyone, the table is all set. We all gather around before we sit down at the table, hold hands around that table with the food on the table, the friendship, the family, the love in the room, and one by one we go around and we just say something we're grateful for. Not long sentences, just something we're grateful for from the moment kids can speak to the last moments we can speak. We're speaking gratitude for being in this family, gratitude for being in this moment, gratitude for being in this day, gratitude for the graciousness and the wonder of this life. I wish you a beautiful, wonderful, tradition-filled in any way that you would love it, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.